if you ask a student whether they think they could be more productive than they are right now, chances are they'll say yes. Whether you're a productivity mastermind at studying or your studies are a complete mess, I hope this video will help you get things done in a happier, healthier way. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Akshit and today I'll be talking about being a productive student. Before I start, I quickly want to mention that productivity is different for everybody. So don't be worried if somebody is studying more hours than you are or practicing more questions than you are. In this video, I'll share some tips that will show you how to get your desired productivity with less. I've mentioned this before and I'll say it again. Planning your tasks is the best way to get started with productivity. Whether it's monthly, weekly or daily goals, Planning and writing down your tasks will help declutter your mind and will also help save time as you will always know what you have to do next and you won't have to spend time thinking about it. Therefore, step one of becoming more productive is to be aware of your tasks. If large applications like Notion scare you, don't worry, you can just get started with a simple checklist or to-do list and try to complete it throughout the day. After planning, let's talk about some tactics to help boost your productivity. The purpose of tactics is to help getting into a habit of becoming more productive easier. It's widely considered that starting a task is the most difficult part of it. So let's see how you can get started. Everybody's bodies and minds are built differently. That is why not everybody can wake up at 5 a.m. or study for 14 hours daily. But the good thing is, you can still be productive without doing those things. The key to scheduling is to manage your time along with your energy. The first step to scheduling is to know how your energy is distributed throughout the day. Some people, like me, might feel the most energetic in the morning, while others might feel the most energetic at midnight. The key is to observe your energy and build a schedule slash timetable around it. Study in your high energy times and do something you enjoy in your low energy periods. Replenishing the body by doing enjoyable things is just as important to productivity as actual studying is. Let's take me for example. My high energy times are 7 to 10 am in the morning and around 2.30 to 3 uh, till 6 o'clock in the evening. Keeping this in mind, I've created a schedule that looks something like this. James Clear mentions in this book that motivation is overrated and the environment matters more. What this essentially means is that motivation is volatile. It comes and it goes. But if you create an environment which promotes focused studying, you are much more likely to keep on studying in the long run. You need to set up your environment in a way that it makes all the things that increase your productivity very visible and make all the things that make you procrastinate invisible. What you should do first is to make a list of all the potential distractions that exist in your study area and try to make them as invisible as possible. For example, if you can't resist checking your phone every five minutes, just hide it or give it to a family member for safekeeping. The less you see it, the less you'll think about it. Many of you might know about the Pomodoro technique which is a very popular study technique used by millions of people. The standard Pomodoro is uh, 25 minutes of working followed by 5 minutes of break, but it's much better to customize it. You can do this by setting a stopwatch uh, when you start studying and as soon as you start to lose focus or think you cannot study anymore, stop the stopwatch and note the time. Set this time as your focus time and set a break time accordingly in the Pomodoro timer. For example, for me, uh, my focus time is 50 minutes followed by 10 minutes of break and I found that this time control works best for maximizing my own productivity. Taking short breaks in the middle of your sessions will help increase your focus and also help increase the time you can study every day. Once you've started studying, you need to continue studying regularly in order to develop it into a habit. This is where a lot of people falter. The key is to hold yourself accountable and provide your brain the immediate satisfaction it craves after completing a task. 
aside from planning keeping to do lists or habit trackers is also a great way to have, hold yourself accountable crossing off topics and chapters that you want to do is an easy visual way to track your progress seeing more and more tasks being crossed off your list will give your brain an immediate sense of satisfaction that will make you want to study more and maintain continuity Let's assume that you followed all the steps and have become an extremely productive student. It's time to talk about burnout. Let me take you back to November of 2020. Uh I had just completed the entire ITJ syllabus. I was studying 9 hours a day and I was giving a lot of mock tests. And I was certain that I was ahead of the competition and I had to keep on going. but suddenly it all came crashing down i just did not care about studying i did not care about mock tests i did not care about anything i just was really unmotivated to study i had burned out being productive and studying is great but like everything else only when it's done in moderation if you overexert yourself for way too long your chances of burning out will increase and in competitive exams which are like marathons this could be really really bad lucky for you there is a simple way to avoid burnout enjoy your life to the fullest give time to your hobbies watch your favorite tv shows and movies play your favorite video games spend some time with your family hang out a lot with your friends and do what makes you feel thankful that you are alive every day study for as long as you think you can and spend the rest of the day relaxing the study life balance that you will attain will help you a lot in the longer run and with that it's time to wrap up if you made it this far uh, thank you so much for watching my videos uh, if you like the content leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more things like this uh, if there's anything specific that you want me to cover or want me to make a video on leave it in the comment below and i'll try my best to cover it as always Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.